So I'm currently outside of Panama City Beach, uh, about 20, 30 miles outside of the city in uh, Florida. Took a road trip, I'm down here visiting family and the sky is, is great here. It's a Bortle Class 4, so it's a zone darker than what I have at my house in Georgia. So naturally I've brought the 6000 series uh, triplet APO refractor and I'm currently working the Andromeda Galaxy which is just a huge galaxy in the sky. It's a wide field perfect you know wide field target for the scope. So that's the, the object I've chosen to work a few clear nights while I'm here. Um, I've actually already worked one night's worth of data on the Andromeda Galaxy. Got, I don't know, about 30, 30 subs, 4 minute subs, and I'm currently working 40 to 50 more subs for tonight. And yeah, it's just fun to do a little astrophotography away from home and, um, you know, just travel around, see some sights here while well, social distancing, of course. But, um, yeah, absolutely. And earlier this evening, uh, Comet Neowise was up. I got a good look at it, visible to the naked eye. I looked at it through the binoculars as well, and unfortunately it was quite hazy at that time, so I did have to scope this telescope going on it for an hour, just tracking and, and shooting one-minute exposures, and out of the hour that I shot it, there is a bit of clearing where I got about six or seven decent exposures, which I'm going to, to process and see how that'll turn out. But uh, definitely having some fun right now with the Andromeda Galaxy. It's just a, an amazing target up there in the sky. It's uh, one of the few blue shifted galaxies, meaning, you know, it, it's actually heading towards our Milky Way galaxy. So in the distant future, um, our galaxy will collide with the Andromeda Galaxy. So, it's a really, really cool target. Guiding tonight's pretty decent. We can take a quick look, um, see how things are going. So here's a look at my guiding as I am working the Andromeda Galaxy. I am five subs in. I'm doing 240 second exposures and my total RMS error is 0.95, so it's not the greatest tonight, but it's not, not anything horrible. And there's one of the subs that I've gotten on the Andromeda Galaxy. i go ahead and zoom in on that. Stars are looking good, quite pinpoint. And there's a lot of detail visible in these subs. These are, you know, dark skies here in Florida, visiting family, so yeah, it looks really nice. Um, should hopefully be getting some good data tonight and probably tomorrow night. Um, I'll try and make, you know, a two-night project, maybe get five or six hours of data on the Andromeda Galaxy here. So, yeah, that's how things are looking so far. So sometimes at night, you know, you hear these sounds and you're like, what is going on? And we've got... An armadillo. Isn't that neat? <laughs> Some things you just see in the middle of the night when you're out doing your astrophotography. <laughs> Little armadillo here. Anyways, we'll leave him alone. Let him do what he's doing. But, uh, wasn't that interesting? Little creatures in the night. One more thing I wanted to mention about the Andromeda Galaxy that's a kind of interesting tidbit of information is that for many people, um, this is the most distant object, the most distant thing you can see with your naked eye. Now, some folks might see M33 at a really dark side. It can be difficult to pick out, but this Andromeda Galaxy M31 is over two million light years away and when you look in the sky it appears as a, a smudge of light and 
Yeah, I just wanted to include that this object is generally the most distant object that you can see with the unaided eye. And it's just some subs that I've captured. You can see it's quite impressive. It's a really cool object, this, this galaxy. It's always been a favorite and when I, you know, I do visual astronomy, this was the first galaxy that I actually looked at through a telescope. It was a really cool experience, you know, to see light traveling so far, reaching your eye. It's just, it's just fascinating. It boggles the mind, really.